Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we will learn about cedar and factories. We will generate hundreds of random records by just using simple code. Here is our tables. For this purpose, we will create two tables here. So first start with students table. PHP artisan make migration students table. We will create student table here. Open the migration file under database folder. Let's copy some code from other migration file to speed up the work. Paste it here and we will give this table name students. And the ID must be unsigned. And the string 99, the official name. Then we will give the first name. And the last name after that we will create a field for email so we have created our dummy students table another table will be students card and the card number for 16th digit drop if exists a student's card and a student here we will create the foreign key for this student's card table So we created a foreign key on a student's card table, a student's ID, the field name and the student's table field is ID. And we haven't created the student ID field. So we will create this integer student ID unsigned. Let's migrate these tables. And in the database, here we have two tables, students and students card. Let's create model for these two tables. PHP artisan make model under models folder student and other student card. So open the student model and here we will copy this code from another model to speed up. Our table name is students and our fillable our name, first name, last name 
and email. Here we will create the relationship of our table with card. Return this has one and the model app models student card. And please remember that the student ID must be unique because this is one to one relationship. And in student's card, we will just define this table name, student's card. And we have two fillable fields, student ID and card number. We have completed our models. Now let's open the folder factories where we have this model factory. We will generate two factory code for our models, app models, student. And we will not using password here. And we have name and the first name last name email so we have created a factory for our student table let's create for student car we will not define for student id we will just define for card number and the number between 12 digits Now let's create the seater for the student table. PSP Audison make seater students table seater and open the students table seater file under seats folder and here we will use this factory app models student class and we are here generating only 10 records and i am commenting this if we have only one table then just this line is okay but here we will extend this method with each function because we will get back the student id which is just inserted because we will also insert a card with the student We will use this student object and save our student card. And open the database seeder file here. We will modify this, copy this and paste it here. and change the teaser name and now let's see php artisan tb seed let's check the students table and here we have 10 records with random names and when we check our students card we have this and we can see the names on hover of mouse on the student id and here i can see that the card numbers are not proper change this upper and lower because we need 12 digits number
let's trunk this table and we will also empty the students table and then in operations we will reset the auto increment to 1 now we don't have any record let's see this again now when we check the student's card here we have card numbers so that's how we use cedars and factories thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the like button and if you have any question then leave it in comments section see you in the next lecture take care bye bye